All right, everybody, so somewhere back in here, Chris is working on a new project, which is an extension of the catio, which she built, which is all of this in here now. This is all completely enclosed all the way under here. Here's her little gate that we can come in and out of. We've got this all the way around, all the way up, runs up the wall there so they can't get out top. That's for shade. Neighbors trees, but this is mostly for the sun because it's the western side, so it keeps the hot from coming here too bad. And then there's the original cat shelter, which we built um, forever ago. And then it extends over here. Obviously we've got to um, we still gotta add a little bit up here, but they're not climbing out there. So anyway, let's go check out the new extension she's working on over here. What are you working on? So the objective is that this is chicken wire that's attaching to the existing chain link fence. And she's got it so that it's going to come up and it's going to double back inwards a little bit so that it goes, if I could show it to you like this, if this is the wall and it's going to crimp back at the top so that it's coming back in this way, that way they can't climb up and get out over that way. And the objective here is to, because they have been accustomed to either going through this hole for many, like two years, or they jump up over here. This is where a tree branch fell down and pushed it down. You'll notice that Chris has come out here and after after um, Pippin had her fall and her surgery, um, we've just had to, we're trying, it's like protecting it from children, but we're protecting it for our cats. So all of these posts, all the way around, all the way over to the chicken coop. We still have a few that Chris hasn't been able to get to yet because they're behind one of the areas because Mary likes to jump up on these posts and like they're old and they wobble and she's gonna fall one of these days. So um, all of those have been tapped off and she's building this now. That way the cats can not only have an enclosure there but also they'll be able to come out and fully explore this area. Um, they do not, by the way, they do not try to jump over the chicken wire here. They've been out for two years. They've never once tried to jump over the chicken wire. They've tried to go under, and um, they can go under in some places. We've had to shore it up over the years with like wood and stuff. But um, um, right now, the big thing is here because Mary and Pippin and Smeagol will jump right up over this. So this is going to come up now to probably seven feet tall or something up in here. So the idea is that. Um, oh, by the way, this was I didn't get this yesterday because you did this while I was working. You took the machete and cut. You can see all of these tree limbs have been cut off. I'm just going to put these posts in. Here's the rest of the tree limbs that she cut off, all the extra. So this is for those of you who were asking about um, how do I, and, and I'm like, I don't do anything on the homestead. <laughs> I, d I did build the chicken coop and the, the refuge thing, but Chris does everything else so thank you honey love you I'm gonna go back to work look you need my help yeah. you're good all right guys that's the up yeah the idea buddy is so that right now what we're doing is this is kind of like the enclosure enclosure this area here which is kind of like if we have to go somewhere um we can completely oh, i can't see it right now behind this door we've got a screen door which has a cat door on the bottom of it so the theory is that if we ever have to go anywhere for like a day or two or something we can have this door completely open there's a little cat door down there they can come out go where they want come out in here to the catio explore the space have places to sleep they're doing here but then on the mornings when we're here eating breakfast or whatever you know we can just open this up and they can come out here and go explore and hunt lizards and other things without getting into the woods and having problems with all the roaming packs of wild dogs and other things that have provoked accidents so that's the update stay tuned for more thanks for following along everybody